What's going on, guys? It's your boy Alex, aka Pay Per View Bundy. This is the Far From Sober Podcast, Season 3, Episode 1. Just a quick disclaimer before we start this podcast, you're going to hear a little bit of hookah smoke and bubbling in the background because Adelcio decided to prep the hookah Three, right next two, to the mic. Three, two, one. <laughs> so that's clap, but... What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Far From Sober, Season 3. It's your boy Hugo, a.k.a. Big Gucci Sosa. It's your boy Alex, a.k.a. Pay-Per-View Bundy, a.k.a. Blue Pain the 4th. He went back to pay per view Bundy. You remember uh, that? I'm last staying time? with pay per view Bundy. <laughs> yeah, bro. but last time he was like, nah, I'm gonna switch it out. Like, and like, nah, nah pay per view Bundy's fire. But I'm telling you, that's gonna be my new handle. <laughs> uh, you Notice know, I only had one nickname for myself this year. Uh, for this episode. Yeah, what bro. happened? What's going on? Like, I, I'm not through? drinking today, bro. It's, it's, you're not going. That's through? why. What you going through? Oh, nothing. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> a Delcio, aka AC. You feel me? Yeah, we got a special guest in the building. Hey, Chilling hey, the cup. Hey, hey, yeah, yes, you, ain't, you ain't seen his face yet either. Like, <laughs> no face, no case. Yeah, yeah. Three likes for face reveal. <laughs> Three likes, nigga. Damn, nigga. He's like a, that's it. <laughs> nigga, He's sweet. begging for that face reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just show this nigga that. That's it. Three likes, it could just be us three, nigga. That's it. <laughs> I was going to be one of them, but just to get mm. it up. Yeah. Just exactly. to get the face reveal out the way. Exactly. This thing is <laughs> but how's everyone feeling today? I'm good, man. Just been, uh, Getting ready for this uh, Vegas trip. I know we had a uh, someone had to ce- celebrated their birthday a couple days ago. Someone's other birthday is coming up. Yeah, yeah. Is, nigga, uh, yo, tell us about your birthday. My birthday, yo, yo. To be honest, on my birthday, I always like to keep it smooth. Like, I don't, I don't like doing too much on my birthday for some reason. Like, I like just being around like friends and family. Okay. So like. I rather just chill at the crib. You don't see me at the club anymore. None of that. That's Thanks crazy. So we're not friends or family. We didn't even get an invite, bro. Well, this one there was it was planned. It was planned. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't me that planned it at all. So it was it was it was we my girl. It. That's my girl. crazy. We went from being friends and family to being um coworkers. Shut <laughs> <Look at that>. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are pretty much Rory and Mo at this point. Yeah, we're just yeah. Buddy. We're just his coworkers. But the shit is, we were supposed to do the pod on my birthday. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and and you then, canceled because we weren't friends and family. Because yeah. I they they ended up planning some shit for me. I couldn't stop it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? But like, that's that's one thing. But I just like to surprise chill, surprise, huh? Surprise, surprise, it was yeah, basically a surprise, bro. I didn't have my car the whole day. <laughs> they put it like that. <laughs> they like they turn off the lights. You walk in, they're like, hey, that's you. Nah, 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 it wasn't like that. <laughs> it's like they, they, they was, they, they, they took my car, left me at my crib, and they had to go side up, all that shit. Then I had to wait for them to pick me up, and then, but like the whole time I was just chilling at the crib. And then once I got, once I got to um my girl's crib, that's when we did, you know, I said, you know, smoke hookah, drink, you know, they cut a cake for me. It was just a smooth night, like it wasn't like nothing crazy. I would have liked to smoke coca and drink with you on your birthday. Yeah, but we too. do that shit on the podcast, bro. Like, yeah. You know what I did on you your just, birthday? We just got to add a cake and then we, right here, <laughs> then we celebrate this. I sat on my couch on your birthday waiting for an invite. <laughs> I even texted him. I was like, happy birthday. Bro, what you, you doing for your birthday? birthday? Yo, but listen to this, bro. You're not the only person that wanted to spend time. Wow. wow. Um, that so, ass. Bro, everybody was hitting me up. Oh, yo, let's do this, let's do that. I'm bro- like... I don't know why, bro. I get kind of overwhelmed on my birthday. Like, I just be like, nah. I don't, I say no to everything. Nah, I'm the like, opposite. Pretty much just call this like a situation ship. No. The, hey, yo, what? <laughs> That's literally how you're treated. You know, it's like uh, friends and family. We're saved under other. Oh uh, yeah, we're saved under Pizza Hut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah. Yo, yeah, we have a definitely <laughs> sneaky links to those. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> you think it's just bugging? <laughs> Nah, but that's that. I just like to keep it calm, bro. I don't, I don't do too much on my birthday. And it was on a Monday, bro. Like, the fuck can you do on a Monday? You got me. Exactly. You know what I'm doing for my birthday? What you doing for phone your phone party, bro? A phone party? Yep. Say so your birthday's next week. You already getting that shit? Nah, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, just like you, bro. I'm probably just gonna fucking chill at the crib. Probably cop a bottle, eat some good food. Might eat some seafood. I feel like the I feel like when you get you, the the older you get the more the less you want to do for your nah. birthday like before you would want like a whole big ass birthday party you know invite everybody to the crib and now you just want to just relax you know what I mean No nah, my birthday's never been like that really all my birthdays always been like have the have the boys come over to the crib and drink and shit never even really like sub oh, my forget it Yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. everything yeah. you say sounded like cap Yeah it was cap I know nah. well for me like 
for my upcoming <laughs> birthday in January. Like, I'm trying to go big. So I'm going to Tokyo and oh, trying shit. to run it up out there. Go through the vending machines? What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to buy from a vending machine? Uh, video games. You sure? Yeah. You're not going to buy, like, a sex doll? No. You unless gotta... someone unless someone buys me a sex doll from the vending machine, then maybe. Dude, them vending machines is crazy, bro. They even be selling, like, panties and shit. Yo, that's... Oh, that's in Japan, Japan bro. bro. They sell everything. So they sell, like, everything. Tokyo. What? All that plastic? If someone bought it... Yeah, I wouldn't sleep with it, but I would just have it there just to like. Stop lying. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Yo, I was born one day and I'm watching like YouTube videos on like sex dolls and shit. I'm not gonna buy one, but I'm just watching videos. (laughs) Yo, these shits look mad realistic, bro. Jesus. They evolve. They evolve. You know what I'm saying? Like how we do. Yeah. Not that plastic feels. That's just crazy. Nah, I mean. Oh my god. Now the dude that was like talking about it, he was like, "I'm. I'll compare this to like a BBL." I'm like, "Mm." that's crazy. (laughs) Nah, like that. So it's it's a water, oh, like like a water bed, like kind of. No, they're not even water bed or anything, bro. These shorties is like thick, bro. Oh my god. Nah, he's like you look at these, you look at these sex dolls. You're biting your fucking like lip, bro. You're like, mm, I might drop. Would you get I might drop the twelve hundred. I might get, drop the twelve hundred. Would you get one customized as your favorite Instagram body? Bro, moving. I kid you, <laughs> yo, I kid you not, bro. They have them like Instagram, like the categories was like Instagram body, porn star. That's how they had it, bro. I kid you not. This is wild. Keep it up, keep it up. At that point, just get a prostitute, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, but that's one time beat, bro. You got it under your mattress and shit, under your bed. You think niggas that buy that keep that shit clean? You I was about to ask that, like, yo, you think <laughs> niggas niggas just busting nothing and just like ah, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> niggas cleaning up that shit to the side, nigga. <laughs> you cleaning up after the cream pie? That's do you crazy, kick your, bro. Do you kick the doll out after, nigga? Like, <laughs> give it taxi taxi money. Call it an Uber. <laughs> yo, that post in our clarity must be crazy, bro. Just like yo, niggas be sitting on the bed like, damn, yo, I really you just like, did that. Yo, I dropped it. Yo, I dropped the rack. Wet, not, 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 not. I dropped the rack on plastic, bro. This is nuts. This is crazy, nah. yo. But hopefully, hopefully we go to uh, Tokyo. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, goddamn. Yo, but hopefully when you go to Tokyo, bro, that shit's a smooth trip, man. Like you do oh, yeah. what you want to do. I don't know what you're planning, but you know, <laughs> since we started with this conversation, I really don't know what you're planning, but like. <laughs> Uh, that fight's gonna be like 12 hours, I think. Longer, bro. Shit. Oh, yeah, we're leaving. That's a day I'm flight, bro. A day flight on a... Damn. Well, when I went to, um, Korea, it was like 20... You went to Korea? Yeah, I spent two months out there when I was in college. Um, so it was like an eight-hour flight to, um, San Francisco, and then a 12 hour, 13-hour flight from, uh, San Francisco to South Korea. Yeah, well, that way, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's like, it's not nonstop. It's like, nah, I had to stop because it was, it was a big ass trip, bro. Yo, there's no fucking way. Like, I, it's like 20 something. All the way to Mexico, right? I could not sit still. I'm bugging you, like, my legs. You know like, how tight this shit is? Too? Oh, like, hell yeah. Yo, you yeah. come out sore in the fucking knees or something, like, because you can't stretch your legs. You sit in, you feel me? Yeah. That shit uncomfortable. And I'm then it's worse if you're flying. See, I can't right? relate. I don't, I don't fly spirit, fam. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> yeah. No Delta. Nah, Spirit, no cat, bro. I'd be scared, bro. I'm just be shaking like, mm. nah, I'm good. Nah, I gotta, for me, I always fly JetBlue. I need that space because I'm six feet. Yeah, I'm I need a, Jet, I JetBlue would be comfortable, no lie. Yeah, I sleep the, the whole too. time, honestly. Oh, that was the best one out of all three. JetBlue? Oh, yeah, JetBlue, they, they got you a Wi-Fi, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. They give you snacks. I'd uh-huh. be like, damn, yo, you treating me like a king. Yeah. <laughs> they had the best movie selections and all. Like, it, just, it was crazy. You know what's my shit, too? I like to watch where I'm at in the sky and shit. I love that, bro. Yeah, that's why I always go. I always try to pick the window seat, bro. I hate sitting in the middle, bro. Like, that shit. Like, but not, well, because of COVID, they had the middle, like, you know, se- separated, like, so you had to sit like I'm not next to the aisle, like you know. Yeah, man, that shit's annoying, bro. I hate doing that. I feel I get bored, bro. So I just go to sleep. Mm. I sleep the whole time. Yeah, personally, like I stay awake like almost the whole day before the flight or whatever, just so I can like sleep on the plane because I don't want to talk to nobody. To be honest with you, see, I be yeah. trying to go in lit, bro. Honestly, I hate when I'm sitting next to like someone that likes to talk, bro. Yeah. The uh, the last trip I went to when I went to Florida, um, I was I was sitting with my son and shit, and then some dude was like. 
having a whole conversation with me about parenting, bro. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. My baby's asleep. Let me sleep. Not, not, it's not worse than what I went through my life, bro. Got to pull out the Bible at that point, my bro. Girl. The last time I went on a flight, bro, shit, I had to sit with some random. She had the window seat too, so I'm like, all right, fuck, like, all right, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit right here. We're gonna be, it's gonna be smooth, bro. First thing she does, bro, she takes off her shoes, bro. That's oh, like Tracy huh? Nigga, <laughs> shit stunk, bro. I was like, nah, no way. I gotta, I gotta be on this flight for this long. I think it was like a six hour flight, bro, or four hour. I don't remember one or two. Did you complain? Huh? Nah, I, bro. Why am I gonna complain, bro? Like, yo, this person smells like what flight geez, was? What flight was that? Texas, bro. Yo, remember what I did? <laughs> yo, when we so we we flew like as a gang to Texas. I'm talking like we went like twelve deep, bro, to Texas. Yeah. So. I was the only one Gosh. far away from everybody, bro. It's heated, bro. So, because it was COVID, I capped, bro. Um, I, I was talking to flight attendant. I'm like, yo, I'm scared. Homeboy next to me started coughing. He didn't even cough, bro. Not one so cough. So you lied about all, that? Not one this thing is a liar, bro. bro. This thing was like, nah, he's coughing, bro. I, <laughs> I got to get yeah. out of here. I didn't want to risk anyone like, like I'm slacking, saying, yeah, no, 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 no. He's not coughing. So yeah. I, I text the group chat. I'm like, yo, the person sitting next to me is coughing. So, Shuddy was like, oh, my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Moving right next to the gang, bro. Oh, my well, I God. Had, well, I had to sit with a random, bro. Like, that shit's crazy. She did what I did, bro. Homie was coughing. Bro, I... Would you have been gassed if they sent you on, like, first class or whatever? Bro, I would have been, yeah, bro. I would have pretended I was Drake, bro. Oh, you would have seen God. me the whole time like this. Maybe I'll do the DJ Khaled card at, um, on our way to Vegas or something. Yo, I'm going to bring a hookah maybe. hose with me next time. You know, I'm what? going to bring a hookah hose with, with me, right? Put on my carry-on. I'm going to pretend I'm smoking hookah on the plane, bro. Yeah, That's want... illegal, bro. You're going to go to jail. What? He's pretending. You to jail, he's not bro. doing I'm it. not doing it. Oh. I'm pretending, bro. But, you know, everyone's going to be like, wow, he's really that nigga. He smoked hookah on a plane. Who smokes hookah on a plane? Well, I wouldn't have, like, let me out because it would honestly. be, like, a captain now. I'll set that <laughs> shit up for the, the fucking, uh, <laughs> the actual pilot, nigga. He wants to smoke hookah while... Driving a plane? That'd be crazy. Imagine them smoking hookah while they're flying. If it's a, if it's a Dominican pilot, you know he smoked hookah, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, do we, what do we got on the um, on the table for today's episode? What we got on the table? Um, we're keeping it really light. Um, yeah. We're drinking some high noons. Something light and some waters. I'm on, a, I'm on a water diet right now. Same. I need some new ones right here. Yeah, I don't know. What... They're good, right? Yeah. I'm going sober for the uh for the rest of my life. I got cases of these shit too. Nah, bro, next I'm, next I'm time I see you, I'm gonna you bring your cases. <laughs> I appreciate that. Game. I don't care. <laughs> like a white claw or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, Cause, Cause those yeah. celsius, man. They. I don't know. I can't. I can't drink that type of shit for some reason. Like, I just need. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like at one point before, like I forgot when Refreshers came out. I thought oh. those were super fruity. Like, oh, I don't like those, bro. Drink, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but like these, these, these smack though. No, I had a cool. the whole time when those Refreshers came out because all the all the girls were drinking that shit, bro. I had a cap to the fullest, bro. Like, yeah, this shit is delicious. The whole time, bro, I'm, I'm like, Ugh, bleh. <laughs> the strawberry, strawberry yo, when the oh, strawberries bro. came out, bro, <laughs> that shit tasted like vomit, dog. Everybody was sipping that shit, which was crazy. Like, I was always seeing the point. Yo, what's the hype about? You know what I'm saying? Yo, what was that nasty? What was that nasty ass drink that everyone was drinking? That wine, that black the one, Capriccio? the Capriccio, when that shit was trash, bro. Just niggas kept like chugging it and blacking out in like five seconds. Yeah, they thought they, you know, they swore it was like fucking um. What was that big ass can back? The four locals. Yeah, bro. This dude was wild enough. Four locals is crazy, yo. I would never drink a four local again. Say I drank that shit one time, yeah. nigga. Never again, bro. Yeah, bro, I got, bro, I got to my yeah. crib, bro. I was what's off the shits, bro. Nigga, I was so I yak. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, yeah, I threw up everywhere, bro. What's, you, what's crazy is that you guys are too young for when Four Local first came out, bro. One can would have had you fucking off your fucking rock, bro. Facts, bro. It, it they was, probably had like a five hour energy shot. In the no, it did. Bro. It was an energy drink, bro. Shit was scary. See what what I did when I the first time I drank a Four Local, I drank Jungle Juice. I smoked, and then I drank that shit. Mm. The Four Local, bro. I just 
Yo, when I was <laughs> when I got to the crib, everything was spinning, bro. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I laid on my couch and then my cousin left me there. I woke up. I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, nigga. I left the whole trail, nigga. Oh, into the my God. I didn't make it. I couldn't. It didn't like my body didn't let me like hold it, like hold it till I made it to the bathroom. I swear, yo. Back then, I I used to drink to throw up, bro. I kid you not, bro. Now, now niggas just drink cause we trying to enjoy it. Or nah, cause now, now we got money, bro. Yeah, we now, can, well, yeah. <laughs> we now we're drinking a, better though. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna afford a fucking Casamigo bottle. Before niggas was drinking like UV bottles and shit, bro. But Casamigos wasn't even that expensive back in the day. I think. I think it just got colonized and motherfuckers just ran the price up out of oh, nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who, who who used to own fucking Casamigos? Wasn't it like Westside Gun or something like that? Nah, don't give him that much credit, bro. <laughs> nah, it was it George Clooney? George oh, Clooney, it was yeah. George Clooney. But, bro, that was like the only like famous like a vo- like a alcoholic beverage promoted by a famous person that was good. Cause like the shit that The Rock has. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. I'm, just I'm like blacking out in like one shot of that shit, bro. Yeah, nah, it don't sit right with me. He's trying to follow the hype. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to make a dollar. Yeah, because yeah, tequila right now is like probably top seller. Right mm-hmm. Like those Travis Scott drinks were disgusting. Yeah, that's the worst shit I ever drink in my life. Travis Scott had a drink? Yeah, he had a seltzer. The Cactus yeah. Jack. The Cactus Jack. Bad, it was a tequila, but one it was tequila one based. One it was tequila. I think it was strawberry. Strawberry. That was mm-hmm. only Nah, yeah, I remember dudes were buying like thirty boxes yo, of them. That to, week like, when that shit, it. yo, that week that fir- that shit first came out, um, me and Henny, my sister, um, we copped the case, you know, trying to promote, you know, trying to promote it and shit. Dude, I kid you not, we drank the first two cans and we were like, yo, this is the most horrible shit ever. As we say that, her um her homeboy calls her. She's like, yo, um. You want to get some can, some free beers and shit? <laughs> My sister's like, yeah, because what we're drinking is trash. He's like, oh, it's these cactuses. Oh, God. No word of a lie, bro. He came, bro. I had like, like 40 fucking cactuses on my fucking table. Bro, I wouldn't even feed that shit to a homeless person. <laughs> you trying like, to get a homeless person lit, bro? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't give something like that to her. But like, if I'm going to give them like something good, like... Yo, I don't feel good. bad getting a homeless person lit, bro, because they, like, <laughs> they probably want that, though. That's bro. what they're doing. They're getting that money to get lit. Nigga, <laughs> they're trying to get money to eat, bro, Some and people. survive. You over here getting this nigga smacked. Nigga, he's going to be on the side of the street. Need somebody have it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah nigga. That, that's the reason why they probably nigga homeless, nigga, because they was just out here buying bottles. They're still doing it. Yo, what you doing if you give a fucking homeless guy, right, a Cactus Jack, and he looks at it and he throws that shit back at you? I'm fighting him. Oh, yeah. I'm that's fighting like, off for that's like trying to feed a homeless person. He's like, nah, I don't want that shit. <laughs> like, I've done that before, and then and the homeless person's like, oh, I don't want that. I w- give me, give me five dollars. <laughs> yeah, like, Yo, they be disrespectful, bro. When I was in Florida, right, um, I'm walking into the Walgreens, and the dude's like, Yo, bro, you think you can help me out? I just need a dollar to buy some food, and I'm just like, you know what, bro? I'll buy you a meal. Yo, I'm like, Yo, here, here's a dollar. He's like, Yo, that's it, bro. I'm like, I'm, I looked him down the eyes, I don't carry cash. He's like, yo, fucking Walgreens, they do cash back. That's just crazy. <laughs> that's yo, like, <laughs> yo, that's like basically telling you like, yo, oh, oh, like, oh, like, you give him, you give him the dollar, he's like, that's it, yeah, man, broke. <laughs> like, that's how I felt like, I felt like he literally called me broke. I'm like, at least I got a fucking house, bro. <laughs> what are you doing if a homeless person calls you a broke? What? What are you doing if a homeless person calls you broke? I don't know. Calls you bro? <laughs> broke. Broke. Broke? Gotta fight him. You gotta fight him. I don't know how I'll take it, bro. I'll be like, Where I guess at? I'm broke. Like, Where we at? Where we at? Get- you have to. <laughs> am I at a store? Am I at a liquor store? Where am I at? Bro, you have to. You, you, look at you. You just park, nigga. You have to traffic late, nigga. You stopped at a red light. Nigga's ran your window knocking. And then this nigga is like, yo, like, oh, let me hold a dollar. Like, and then and then you be like, nah, I don't got a dollar. This nigga's mad broke. And then just walks away. <laughs> I got to get out feel? the car and cause traffic. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'll be, like, I'll be like, yo, bro, yo, come over here. Yo, I actually got some bread for you. As he's walking my car. Skrrr! That's oh, it, nigga. Uh, I think I smacked the shit out of him. I, I, no, bro, I put him on World Star. You put him on World Star? Uh, World yeah. Star is not even, like, big anymore. It's crazy, bro. Cause now it's the shade room, but yeah. That's what it my is, dad, now. My dad still be on World Star. For real? Yo, I don't know. I don't hear, like, yeah, about it. They still get, like, mad views? It be lit like that? Nah, but I remember niggas used to really be on that shit, like... Like, you... 
Like, you want to see any exclusive videos, nigga? World Star had it. Nigga. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Now I feel like you could you should go on, nigga, IG or some shit, nigga, and you'll see it. Like, I mean, nigga. if you was in a fight and someone was shouting out World Star, you better put your whole life and soul into that fight. Did that ever happen to you? Time that was a thing. Nah, thank God. Someone ever cracked you and said World Star? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, but it's happened to like people, bro. It's, it's crazy. Like GTA running punch shit. Like, yo, that's wild. <laughs> Would you chase him? Yo. Oh, I'm coming back strapped, bro. <laughs> but, I'm coming back strapped. Ain't catching like, on that nigga's gone, nigga. <laughs> you already caught. <laughs> you never see me. Yeah, that nigga already hit you, nigga. He... Superman shit, yo. That nigga's already across the town, nigga. But it's like probably punching somebody else. Like. Boy got a million views on fucking World Star Amp and shit, and you're the victim. This he's doing, he's doing interviews of how he punched the shit out of you, like. That's it. Oh yeah, I punched his podcast host because he was randomly walking down the mall or something. <laughs> but like, it's just crazy, like what people do for social media attention, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, but that was crazy. But that was wild. But why? Yeah. Why do you think people do it though? Like what? Well, like, like be like, like wild out on social media. Clout. Yeah, like it's yeah. is clout really that much of a drug? Yeah, hell like, yeah, that shit's so definitely put a drug. Out there, like record and post and post. That's all that They see people, yeah. They see people interacting with you. Like you getting all these likes. People like this. There's people just like noticing you. I think that's. I think people just the attention. The people love the attention. But it's so crazy because like you don't make money off. That, yeah. Though. In the beginning, I'm sure they didn't, but it was all like up here. Like, like, look at certain people. Crazy. Look at certain people that went viral now, that like lost all their money and went broke. Like the Island Boys. Like that nigga is like did the one thing, and then just went broke. Yeah, but I, I don't even know how they started. Like, I mean, the song, but just them as a whole, like. <laughs> I never watched so Florida one Florida, video bro. from them. One Me video, either. never heard one. Song nah, nah, nothing, bro. nah. I seen one video. Yeah, it was them, them like boxing and shit. And, and these niggas are thinking they got hands and shit like that. So, and then after they go to the camera, they're like, "Use the one." So who would want to fight, Tory Lanez or the Island Boys? Tory Lanez, oh, yeah. for a fact. I feel like Tory Lanez got. What hands. about Meat Mill? The Island Boys uh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Yeah, if this shit ever pops off and Meek Mill is that shit, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna ask gonna, you. He's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna ask run up. you. I'm still gonna hold my word and be like, yeah, the Island Boys got you, bro. I seen the I seen the video of you training in a gym, dog. It's 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 not it, bro. Me. <laughs> nah, but yo, social media really is a fucking drug, man. Like it's kind of scary what we're going to. Because the women they just want to get the likes, so they'll do whatever it takes. They'll fucking they'll show their ass. They'll twerk. They'll do whatever. And it's wild too because now you can't even you can't even record anywhere. You think it's damaging in a relationship? Do I like think it's social media? You think social media damages a relationship? I feel like it. Hundred percent. I feel like it does. Just cause like, like that's like if you like too into social media, yo, you're gonna get lost in that shit. Mm. You feel me? And then like if you're if you're in a relationship like. All you're going to think about is the social media the whole time. You're going to be on your phone all the time, all that shit, that shit. Like, I feel like it depends on, like, the couple, though, because if, like, both people are very, like, social media, like, hungry, they're probably going to make it work. But it doesn't Just help either. It doesn't help either when you stuff. have, like, dudes and females always posting, like, couple goals. That's just, like, that's just annoying. Yeah, like, you can have you can have a whole, cu- a whole couple, right, that's going through hell. Like, they're arguing every day, you know, their life sucks. Like, they shouldn't even be together. But they're going on on social media telling you how to have a relationship. Mm. Then you have other couples looking into it like, oh, shit, you know, my man's not doing this or my girl's not doing that. I'll be damned if, if my girl was to ever be like, based my relationship off of like Moneybag Yo and Ari Lennox. Yeah. Not Ari Lennox, um, Ari, whatever her last shit is. Yeah, because before it used to be like Drake, Drake lyrics ran the relationship. That shit was a scary time. Bro. Yeah. Now it's social media run, running the relationship. Damn. Social media is crazy, like just that is crazy. I think the comparison falls falls into like a situation, you know what I'm saying? Like people start to compare themselves to, to other people. Try, way, trying to make it like realistic, like yeah, to you know, and it creates this, this, this 
it's a mindset for you. You know what I'm saying? You start to think about it, like, mm. think, like you know, like that's not me, whatever. And sometimes a lot of people on social media, like, you know what I'm saying? They, they're not really portraying yeah. their actual daily life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a moment, or whenever they look good, you take a picture, right? So things like that. You know what I'm saying? So people compare themselves, like, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's not reality. So, but that's just a thing for people. Like, it really is good because it, it influences your mind. Facts. Yeah. And it doesn't really, and social media really takes away like creativity from people. It takes so much away from people because now everyone just wants to be a copy paste version of someone else. Uh, yeah. Because now people like, when, let's say you, you're going to a party, right? Now you got people going on like other people's social media to see how they dress. So now everyone's all dressing the same. Mm. No one really has their own personality anymore because they're all basing it off of whoever is lit, whoever's the littest on social mm. media. So do you think we should bring back gatekeeping for certain things? No, I think gatekeeping is low-key some shit. I, I, want, I want everybody to, to, to succeed. Mm, not mean, not like gatekeeping on like like oh, on yeah, some money opportunities oh, and stuff, yeah. but like gatekeeping like that where people are, where like you know people are going to be copying or going to be trying to copy your own lifestyle, but you want these people to like find themselves instead, you know what I mean? Yeah. But mm-hmm. That's what I mean by like gatekeeping. Like you know, there's like other social media websites that that um where that you know we're a part of that that is technically like gatekeeping right now because we're trying to break away from like the like the current issues that goes on with social media. Yeah, because the state that we're in in social media is just gonna scary. keep getting worse. Because you can't really you can't do nothing anymore on social media now. You feel like well. Not for me, because I no longer, like, post on social media. If I do, it will be, like, a story. But now people are so addicted to the likes, the comments, that they only post shit for the likes. Mm. And if we continue on that road, bro, we're going to be we're gonna be robots. Yeah. I we're, think it's also bad for kids. No, nah, the kid, yo, the kids are crazy right now, because now all these kids want to be gangbangers. Well, that and, like... But like some kids also wanna are also comparing their lives to like likes, and you know that's unfortunately not how life works. You know, it, it like certain people start creating like this air of entitlement because of how active they are on social media, or the type of content that they're pushing, which I think like is like let's say the three of us, like our Instagram page has like a million followers. We're going to a restaurant. We expect to get free food because we have over forty thousand followers on. On Instagram, oh. dude, I kid you not, I like was off just... rip, like not even, not like expecting it, like not, you know what I mean? Like being like, oh, like oh, you know who I am? Yeah, like, like you and me yeah. going, like us going to the club and be like, yo, we get free VIP and three bottles, off rip for nothing. Dude, I was watching a vid, kid you not, like an hour before the pod, us some dude, right? This dude went to Walmart, right? Threw mad soap on the fucking floor and put a slide on the floor, right? And started sliding through the aisles, right? For what? The manager pulled up to him like, what the fuck you doing? You know what his response was? I'm verified on TikTok. I hate people, bro. And what did the, the worker do? The, the worker, yo. He was like, what the fuck? I don't care. Get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> Bro, one time I was working in a club, um, at the club I work or whatever, some kid started crying because I didn't let him into VIP because we were like, packed or whatever and he was a dude. Unfortunately, dudes get like the shitty end of the stick when you're at, when you're at a club. Um, Just say my name, bro. unless you got money. <laughs> Some dude was like, "Oh yeah, I got like twenty six thousand followers on YouTube. I'm just trying to get a quick B roll." So I was like, "So you're trying to like promote something that you're not?" And then and I was like, "Bro, like I don't got it. Like I don't have any more passes or whatever. Like usually I would bless it, but then he started getting mad. And then at the end of the night, he came up to me. He was like, "I still think it's crazy how you denied me access." And I was like, I was like. He was like, yo, you stopped me from dreaming. And I was like, nigga, fuck your dream, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was already tight, bro. Like, don't don't press me because you want to get into VIP. We are about to get blackballed, bro. <laughs> he probably went on Twitter like, oh, this dude from the Far From Sober podcast didn't let me in VIP. I showed him 100 bands and he didn't let me in. He's white. Stop capping and shit. <laughs> He's white. We're good. Yeah, here we go. The night is dreams, yeah. I was like, bro, you're you're going to like a college club, bro. Like, you're. It's not like we're at V Live or fucking King of Diamonds or something, bro. See, I'm trying to go over there. Yo. E- exactly, bro. Like, for that maybe, like, I would try to fake it and be like, or, yo. Or Magic City. Or Magic yeah. City. You know, try to beg security, let me in for VIP, just so I can get a quick B roll for the club. I'm but, just trying <laughs> to sniff a stripper's ass. Now, here's a good question. 
Really good question. <laughs> like I said, that shit mad. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, wait, like, wait, wait, like, wait, wait, what, what you try to switch it up. Like, <laughs> get out of here. Wait, what you mean by that? What? All right, <laughs> what? A good question? Nah, no, nigga, no, you just said you want to slip a slip and slip. Nigga said it, and then you try to switch it. Like, yeah. like, like, I can't just play off the horny real fast? Damn. Yeah, this nigga's wild. Nah, but fucking good question right here. Would would you date an Instagram body? The fuck out of here. No. Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't. Why not? Why? Let's get this money. Why wouldn't you date an Instagram body? Shit. It all depends, like, if we, like, compatible and, like, you know, we can talk and all that shit. Like, you know, like, it's actually genuine, then yeah. But I don't know. I don't feel like the IG models is like that, you feel me? Like I said, like they, it's this, there's too much. There's, there has to be like a balance with social media. Mm. What if she got like the best personality you ever met in a female? She's super dope. She likes everything you like, but she has an addiction. She gotta take a picture everywhere she going. Fucking, she gotta record everything. She can that's her only flaw. Now. Uh, that's her only flaw is that she gotta record everything. That's that's like asking me like, yo, she, oh, she a nine, but. She, she ball, yeah, yeah. Phone, like, <laughs> I don't know. know. It, it, that's a rough one because, like, I want like my like my girl to like be in the moment with me or whatever. You know what I mean? Just enjoy the adventure that See, we on. Yeah, I I don't know. I wouldn't mind it, yo. As long as she she shows everybody like yo know, like that she's in a relationship. It's not yeah. like hiding it or anything like that. Imagine she's recording like the birth of your kid. Imagine like full on Instagram live like. She's like, she's like, yo, Coochie babe, show babe grab the phone, record this. Record, I'm record pushing. the baby pushing out. Oh, See, they're not, they're it's not, health. Nah, it's health. Nah, I'll be like, nah. Ban it. I'll, fi- <laughs> bro, I'll fake it, bro. I'll be like. <laughs> just be at the phone. And I'll be like, damn, bro, your phone was tweaking. Like, I'm a liar. Like, yo, you ran out of storage. You got to get that <laughs> iCloud going. You went, you went IG live during your, your child's birth. Whoever did that. That's wild, bro. Wild. Yeah, bro. That's too I'll much. I feel like that's more like, yo, you got to keep that just between yourself. That's like, like intimate, bro. No, nah, but yeah. it's crazy because when my girl was pregnant and shit, um, she would be watching like mad childbirth videos. And, yo, these bitches would get fucking dolled up to give birth. Women. Yeah. You said what? These these, these women. women. Oh. These uh, women would get dolled up my bad, to give bro. birth. Yeah. I thought I heard something else, bro. Yeah, I, I think that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> was it for it. like a documentary like purpose though? Or was it No, like... they'd just be like, oh, I'm getting ready to give birth. Face dolled up, bro. Like, they just... That's not even Like, they're about to go to the club, they shit. Like, their nail tech went to the fucking... To the hospital, did their nails and did their lashes and shit. Oh, oh yeah. Like, she's giving birth to be alive. That is wild. That's... That's it's, too much, bro. Like, you just... You just giving birth. It's not like you... It's not like a... So, like, it's not like a party, bro. I mean, we're men. We can't really talk about birth... Childbirth and shit. That, too. Yeah. Like, they probably just want to look good for the thing. I get it. Let me ask you this: Did you get a haircut? That's I, but I feel like that's too much, bro. Like you don't have to do. It. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you think your kid's gonna look at you and remember your fucking like face like that? Like, I got yo, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be did, real. You get, did you get a lineup before? Uh, uh, when I found out my born? girl, when I found out my girl's going to labor, I called the barber. I called my barber quick. I'm like, <laughs> yo, it. my son ain't catching me lacking. <laughs> that's yo. Honestly, that's one of my biggest fears. Is that yo? Like, that's that's one of my biggest. Lineup? Fuck yeah, bro. He's, he's looking at old baby pictures. He's like, yo, dad, look at your fucking lineup. That shit rock. Scrub, bro. I'm like, yo, but you know, we didn't know you was giving birth. <laughs> you fucking scrub. Like, <laughs> I'd be sick, bro. I, I would have made fun of him for not having a fade. Like, coming out with a fresh fade already. Something, I don't know. Yeah, but he would have had an excuse. He would have been, what's your excuse? I'll be like, niggas just broke, son. Why are you getting like like that? Like, <laughs> you're gonna roast your son coming out the womb, nigga, with no lineup, like, like I think it's bald, nigga, like, <laughs> that's crazy, yo. Talking about, I didn't think, you, I didn't think I was a dad. I thought the dad was an alien, you ugly ass nigga. Get out of here. <laughs> yo, so how would you feel? All right, th- damn, this is a question for women, though, like. Okay. But nah, I'll Hugo can answer. Yeah. Hugo, okay. how would you feel? Somebody <laughs> <not there? laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, that's, a, that's a question for the female. I'm a, I'm a, I gotta, I'm gonna, you gotta ask it. I want to hear it anyways. You want to hear it? All right. So, if you you know tune into the podcast, I want you to you know comment anything you know like your opinion on this. How do you feel about men asking you for a DNA test? Ooh, you feel me? Like, do you feel like that's disrespectful? 
or do you feel like it's it's necessary just to uh, make the the ma- the male feel secure? You feel me? Honestly, I think that That's a good question, that question bro. is actually deeper than what it actually sounds, because it takes a lot for a man to be like, "Yo, you know, is that my kid?" Yeah, cause yo. That's a trust issue, bro. That means you don't trust nah, your girl, bro. Nah, nah. Listen to this, cause uh, I know somebody that that had a kid, but the kid really does not look like him. Mm-hmm. But you know the girl's claiming. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you feel me? Like you. That's oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, bro, this niggas niggas yeah, as dark as dark as me, nigga. The kid came out, nigga, light skin, blue eyes, bro. Like yeah. what, nigga? Like, like oh, yeah, but you don't know. You but know. that's what I'm saying. Playing but that was advocate. You know, maybe maybe genetics. Maybe that's genetics. What I'm look at you. Look at you. Your brother and your yeah. sister, your brother and your sister, white. Yeah, you, white. that's what I'm saying. Brown, but for some reason, my little brother, he kind of looks like me now, nigga. Like as he getting older, that nigga's starting to look like me. I'm like, oh shit, like maybe the baby, maybe the baby might fucking turn brown eyes. You never, you never know, nigga. Yeah. From blue to brown, nigga. <laughs> you never know, nah, bro. Nigga, like, <laughs> dude, that happens. You, you color changes. What that's a dog, nigga. Like, we're talking about nigga. But like, fucking. you never know though. Like, <laughs> you know it's just like... crazy how the body, how genetics work. And like, yo, my brother's, um, my brother's a little darker than you, my younger brother. And then my youngest is like around your skin color. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like in the middle. Yeah, my little brother looks Asian, and me and my sister look Spanish as fuck. Nah, you guys all look alike. <laughs> nah, you guys. Nah, nah. If you see alike. the baby pictures nah, of my of my brother, easily look Asian. Because it's not even a skin tone thing. Mm-hmm. It's all in the eyes. Yeah. You feel me? Like, if you have, like, chinky eyes, they Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not, not, like, structure or whatever. It's all the eyes. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm I'm Asian, man. I seen uh, black women look like, look like the Asian. Spanish women look like the Asian. I seen, you know what I'm saying? Black yeah. Asian. Especially, like, um, uh, what is it? Central American? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there was a lot of, um, a lot of Chinese, like, refugees and stuff that went to, like, Guatemala and stuff. I know there's like Chinese on like my brother's side because like my brothers, my brothers, um, me and my brothers don't have the, the same uh, father biologically or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like, um, yeah, there's like Chinese on their side, but there's like German on my side. I'm sorry, man. I, I should have kept the bloodline going, but I stopped. Shut at the you. fuck up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, bro. Say what's up to your pops, bro. Uh, fuck this nigga, like bro. You, you no, my brothers. Oh. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, See, I, I, I wish I wish I was mixed with some shit, nigga. Yeah. Man, I'm fucking fully Dominican, nigga. Like, you never know, cause like, there's a lot of Italians that went to nah, to but the don't, you know what's crazy? Too, my my la- my last name is like is French. Candle Candelier. Yeah, damn, nigga, say my whole. You said it before. <laughs> I never said my government on the fucking. You want a bet? We can go back and we can fifty dollars. We're gonna have to edit this. Put the SpongeBob. Bro, I swear I never sent my government on this podcast, bro. Bet. Get out of here. Bro. Maybe not you, but somebody else has. We can't get out of here. Yeah, what, what <laughs> you gonna ask next? Is social? Yeah, yeah nigga. Like, yeah. His security code? It's like, come on. <laughs> my bank info? Like, you... <laughs> uh, if I put mine's out, like, it's all debt anyway, so. No cap, yeah, just... <laughs> if niggas yeah, steal, just take my shit, If somebody bro. steals my identity, they, 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 not, there's no point. Like, niggas is gonna feel bad. Niggas is gonna start sending you bills. Like, like, <laughs> I can save him. Like, if anything, yo, try to help me out, nigga. Fuck, I'll give you my identity just because. Just to help me out, nigga. Put money in my fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Put money in my bank account, all that That's shit. That's movie shit. That's, like, the biggest family to do. It's <laughs> crazy shit, nigga. Just took it, then he helped you out, whatever. Some crazy shit. Yo, imagine someone just hack. They just hack your shit. They <laughs> give you fucking. Nice guy. Yo, like, <laughs> That's like robbing you backwards. Yo, imagine. <laughs> someone hacks the ba- hacks yo. a bank and like they give everyone like at least fifty thousand dollars or whatever. No, nah, even worse. Imagine somebody just hacks your whole fucking shit. They go into your account and they see you fucking like have five dollars in your bank account and they're like, Yo, that that was me like two years ago, bro. I got you, fam. Fuck it. Throws mad bread in your account. Gives you mad credit cards, bro. Like Next thing you know, the FBI's on your ass. The you fucking, po- fucking like, IRS is on your shit. Would you report it to your bank? I don't know. No, I don't know what? Man. You wake up one morning, you got, you got fucking 100 bands in your yo, account? I swear to God. I'm, I'm leaving. Every day. <laughs> every day. I'm like, yo, the Lord. Thank you, God. Like, you see your shit elevate. I mean, you're like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, yo, I be in church every day. I be a believer. I take a pastor. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Yo, yeah. court day, you come in, fucking haircut. Look at Mac. Look at Mac Cleeton. I'll help all my niggas out. Whatever I can. You feel me? Nah, facts. So, they, like, I feel like they some they serious money wild. in my account because someone hacked it. Yeah, I'll go to another country, bro. Where they can't extradite my ass. Yeah, that's crazy. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to Tokyo. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be easy to catch. I <laughs> mean, they're watching like North Korea. They already, yeah, yeah, they already hit the pot. Always oh, going to Tokyo. <laughs> they're gonna bag you at the fucking <laughs> the vending machine, trying to buy a sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll let> them, <laughs> yeah, they be like, yo, just let them let them chill for a week. Go we'll get them next week, yo. Like, just let them enjoy his birthday real quick. <laughs> 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 Matter of fact, they're gonna celebrate it with you, nigga. And then, then, then the FBI like, agents yeah, are gonna come through. They're gonna be popping bottles with you at the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So Freeze! I'm a cop. <laughs> He's gonna ask you. Gonna be like, yo, you enjoyed your birthday? You're gonna be like, yeah, I'm mad lit. That's good. Nah, turn around, bro. <laughs> yo, thank yo, thanks for those shots, man. I appreciate yo. I always wanted to try that fucking bottle. My bad. <laughs> thanks for that shot of uh, Louis the Thirteenth. <laughs> So, um, speaking of shots and shit, so I was sitting back the other day and I was thinking like, yo, what is my all time favorite drink? All time favorite drink? All time favorite drink. Um, whether it's a, a bottle or a mixed drink or even a beer. Yep. What's, what's, uh, what's your favorite drink? I don't really like mixed drinks cause they don't do nothing to me. Um, all time favorite bottle. It always changes though. That's a thing. Cause right now I'm on I'm on the Reposado wave for like anything like yeah anything that says Reposado nigga I'll sip it not so anything. even if Brunette dropped like a Reposado if it tastes good bro then yeah I'll drink even it. even E and tastes good bro I'll drink it bro nigga like liquor's liquor you feel me so like no I, honestly there's two part, things yeah, there's two bro. things I don't I, I don't agree with fuck it pussy's pussy and fuck it liquor's liquor two things I don't agree with. Why? Why you say? Why you say liquor? Not liquor, like. Cause the quality, bro. Like if you're, if you're drinking some cheap shit, you're gonna know you're drinking some cheap shit. If you're drinking some high end shit, you're gonna know the difference. Would you too. drink tap water? Five. Like yeah. Do you taste the difference when you drink like bottled water? Not really. Okay, you can't, then you I can't, can't talk to you. Cause... Yeah, you can't. When it comes to that, yeah, I've always said that shit. When it comes to like water and shit, I feel like every water tastes the same to me. Like. But like it's it's you not one of those. Just about he's that. one of those. He's yeah. uh, he's one of those. <laughs> I'm sorry, nigga. Like yo, you don't even see. Why am I asking? You don't even see food. Yo, bro. Like listen, listen, bro. Cause nigga, when when you're younger, bro, you had to survive off whatever you had on the outside. You didn't want to go inside your crib. So nigga, I used to drink all like nigga like from the holes. Or like you go to your cousin's crib or some shit, they didn't have any water in the fucking fridge, bro. So you drink gave yourself lead poisoning. Bro, you drink you drink from the sink, bro. Like, bro, I drink water water's okay, water. That's, from... Okay, that's that's cool. So, I was a fucking kid, bro. So I'm a you, grown man, bro. I'm a grown man. Now I drink waters. bottled water. That's what I'm trying to say. It's the difference in waters. Yeah, like the qualities and stuff. Would you would you would you drink tap water? Yeah. I would. I can't even struggle like mm. that's what I'm trying to say. Let that shit run for like a good minute. I'm saying, you, have you ever got sick? Have you ever? Florida, I heard, but Florida is also like bad for you though, too. So yeah, I, <laughs> whenever I run that top water, I spit at it. Babe. Yeah, <laughs> bougie, nigga. Suck. That's why. Look at you, nigga. Yeah, bougie today. That's why. If I had to, <laughs> I would, you know. Yeah. I'm fucking. But like, I had like, for example, like Poland Spring and a bottle of like nice water from like Walgreens or whatever. Yeah. You could taste the difference. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just disgusting, bro. <laughs> nah, I can't. <laughs> this guy has cases of Walgreens water. I, it's like, it's like I kid you not, one day I went to his house, bro. He had literally mountains of fucking Walgreens water. Yeah, nah, no bullshit, man. My brother T, that nigga bought, like, fucking 80, 80 fucking 24 packs of water. God bro. damn. I kid, they filled a whole pickup yeah. truck full of fucking Swear Walgreens God. water. Did you yeah. guys donate the water? You guys just pocket it? We drunk all that shit. That shit lasted so long, bro, like. It was during COVID. I'm full of family, so that's not, it's not just like, you know, like, we, oh, like my okay, whole okay. house is full of family, so they all drink that water, like, you know what I mean? Oh, no, he was one of the that. porters, bro, during COVID. I, 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 got, I like, remember, nah, I remember, bro. Get the when co- when COVID happened, he was like, yo, we got to stock up on water, bro. Literally, went to Walgreens, went to three Walgreens and bought all the water. Jesus Christ. Nah, nah, it wasn't even three Walgreens, it was literally one Walgreens. He literally just had, you just had to ask the manager, order this much. So, yeah, literally ordered all that. 
and they came, and then he, he and then he brought it. He took it. So you was you was the reason why I couldn't get water. Crazy. You can't say me, bro. I'm not the one that bought it. It was my brother, <laughs> Lane Liskin. <Liskett>, like. <laughs> oh my God! Freaking sparkling or stilled water? Me? Yeah. Neither. Mm. I only go um I only go spring water or um like the designer water like the um the high pH ones. So you're spending like twenty bucks like, on a bottle like of water. Like Essential. Yeah. That? Yeah. I like, consider that like designer water. Okay. Because yeah, it, it anything water. over two dollars is designer for me. Essential. That's, that's like my, my number one. Yeah, yeah, that's how I, I would say too. Well, I remember once um I was breaking out really bad and then I just bought um a bottle every day and it cleared like my acne and shit. For real? Mm -hmm. Made my um nails like clear as fuck. People used to think I got my nails done every day. Shit. Damn, bro. What kind of fucking voodoo? That's what happens when you don't drink fucking tap water, you dirty ass. Nigga, you acting like I drink tap water right now, nigga. Like, you think I'm going to go to the sink right now and fucking drink that? This I seen you. You literally went in his recycling bin. Went to the <laughs> <laughs> grabbed, the, uh, grabbed the empty water and filled yeah, it up, bro. Nigga. <laughs> You look like you drink rainwater, nigga. Fuck you, bitch. It's probably, yeah, probably that's what spring water is, bro. Rainwater. <laughs> no, but from the floor, nigga. From the floor? Yeah, like, you know how, like, cars just be passing over puddles? You literally dig that shit up, nigga. You drink that shit. You drink sewer water, bro. Yeah, you dirty ass nigga. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. When, the, when you when you flush the toilet toilet and it, like, splashes out, you're like... Hey, like, yo, that thing has to be the dirtiest thing I know. Like, what? Dude, why you even, like, yo, this thing is really, like, thinking about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just took a shit, nigga. Fucking water just splashes, nigga. It's oh fucking crazy, bro. Hey, man. Whenever you're at my crib, I see you walking out like this. Yeah. I it's either that or you yo. drinking my top water. <laughs> nigga, you got, so that's, you're telling yourself that you, you never have water in your crib. That's what you're trying to tell me. If I'm drinking your tap water and I'm thirsty, it's because I Unless have Unless it's like a Brita filter, I'll drink Yo, it. I'm going to be real with you. So before, whenever people came to my house, they used to like offer them like Poland Spring bottles, right? Yeah. They would leave my crib and drink like a quarter of it. That's disrespectful. Literally, so I, I started buying like Walgreens water and just giving it to them. Yeah. That's that's one of my pet peeves. Like, I hate when people don't finish their water, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, or at least, like, dump it out, if anything. Don't leave that, it on the table. No, bro. Take it with you or something, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't just drink it and then just leave it. Like, they'll drink it, like, to here. And then they'll be like, that's it. Like, you know, believe uh, My water's, like, right exactly there. Yeah, exactly. My don't point. crack my shit open, bro. See, if you left that, I would have been looking at you, like, you'd be like, get that ass, like. You be, you could have got tap that? water for that, bro, honestly. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know. It's, like, $20 worth of water. Exactly, man. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, man. What else do we got on uh, on the list for today's topics? Uh, what we got is actually I want to fucking go out for some drinks. Want to go out for some drinks? Yeah. Oh yeah, your birthday's coming up too. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's my fucking birthday month, bro. And Adelcio's birthday month too. Shit, Shit bro. I well, feel we gotta like... take a quick toast, son, uh, to both y'all. I'm not drinking alcohol for this <laughs> week, but you know. Cheers to both y'all, man. I hope y'all have some wonderful birthdays. <laughs> got empty shit. More life. This nigga. Uh, <laughs> more life and more success to you. Nah, for real. Niggas is turning 25, bro. 20 fucking five. You already turned 25. That's what I'm saying. I'm 25 now, bro. That's fucking crazy to me, nigga. So, um, anything you want to say before we sign off? Shit, nigga. Don't turn 25 now. <laughs> nah, no bullshit. Just enjoy life, y'all. To the fullest. Like... Time goes by too fast for you not to. Mm. Shit, I'm I'm hearing you know just one thing I heard is that the I heard the the world is spinning faster. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, that that's it true. Yeah. Uh, what is it? One point three milliseconds faster or some shit. What like the that. fuck, bro? That's crazy. But how come? I asked this question yesterday too. Um, I said, how come fucking when you're at work, time wants to go mad slow? Like, oh, it's nah, all perspective. This is what I really want to. This is what I don't get. Right. The world's going by faster, right? Yeah. But why is it that it's taking her longer to text me back? Ooh. Gonna have to save that one for another. She with another nigga, my boy. I'm gonna Yo. have to give you the bad news <laughs> off camera, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that, bro. Yeah. So what you? What do you got to say to the world regarding that type of matter? Um, the only thing I can say is, um, don't be that dude. Don't double text. Don't stalk. Nah, stalk. Nigga, what? What? Anyways, don't stalk. <laughs> Love yourself more. 
And, and I'll drink don't water. Don't be afraid and drink your water. Yeah, don't drink tap water. Don't be a dumbass. Nigga, like, uh, I, I still got, like, clear skin, nigga, like, uh, so I don't care. Like. <laughs> and it's been episode one of season three, and we gone. Yes, sir. Ski. Bow. <laughs>